God sent me to a pastor that I may serve that pastor and heal him from the injuries the devil had brought in his life. Somebody get it. I went and found that in the ministry with the only but his family members. I was never a leader in that house. God gave me the apostolic grace to touch in an area of weakness. I sacrificed my resources my time to reach out through evangelism to build what I had to build in the house with my money resources with my skills and my pastor was healed my pastor was recovered he became healthy in the body healthy spiritually his emotions got healed and one day when the church is grown full to the brim when everybody else is struggling now about the idea of getting a more bigger place an elder who had been appointed in place as the assistant pastor in that house I was ministering to the altar I requested the people who were seated far off to shift to the front chairs. Listen to me, somebody. God is healing something. And everybody adhered to my call and they shifted clothes. But him alone, he was left behind. And I felt like it was still necessary for him to do what the spirit of the Lord had instructed me while I was on the altar. And I told everybody in the class in the church, I mean, everybody put your hands together for Pastor Saul as he comes to the front seat where he belongs. Everybody clapped, everybody made all the noises, but he never came and they kept quiet and looked back everybody then he pointed a finger at me while I was on the altar and he said you don't know who I am you are too small to instruct me I repeat it again brethren what my daughter has mentioned on this altar. You could be in this house. You are healed. Your life is glorified of God since you joined this altar. And you think because Brother Boaz is vibrant in the worship ministry, you think it is as a result of his position that you are connecting through with the heavens. Sometimes the person seated next to you could be the tree of life for this house. It is a happening like that to me and I'm supposed to be ministering and I got wounded when I was belittled right before the congregation that God has raised through me by the grace of God over my life. But again, I still considered the element of unity and the objective of God. I never left the fellowship. And to some extent, God never allowed the father of that house to console me, to speak a word of encouragement to me. Sometimes, God will use an enemy to sharpen you. Today, 
I know how to forgive. And I don't struggle with forgiveness because of the process that God has taken me through. Amen. I know how to help you when you are in the state of denial because I've been there. All things work together for good. Upon them, but number one, love the Lord. And number two, they are good according to his purpose. Kitu shetania na taftana na chompendua nilengu la maisha ya ko. And it comes now to my wedding time. I am prepared to get married next year. I've set a date for my, mar- for my wedding next year. But my pastor comes to me. He encourages me. And he tells me, no, you are getting married this year. You've served this house. This house must serve you. And I will also serve you. And he tells you, me, tafuta hizi ngombe kwa pesa zako. Meme nitakutafutia ngombe kama baba yako. Na ni kuongeza na shilinga ya pamsini. Na uongeza na zako. Peleka kwa kena msichana. And you know, I am fatherless. And now because uh, my pastor is saying this to me, I feel I have a sense of belonging in this home. Sometimes you could be in a place and you think that is your home. When in a real sense, God took you there so that he can build your shock mount. And I introduced my wife to be to my pastor. And, 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 and the pastor has another alternative. I've introduced my wife to my pastor. But my pastor does not love her. But my mother, the wife to my pastor, loves my wife so much. Look at that. Brethren, it is so much painful to realize that you are the ball of contention between two factors. Especially when the father of the house is saying this and the mother of the house is saying this. You as children, you become a collateral damage. It was a very painful moment. We raised the money we needed for the wedding. Ya pastor wangu, haiku wanekana. All the promises he had put in the place, hakuna hata moja ilionekana. Hakuna hata moja. Kanisa likachanga pesa. Kanisa likachanga pesa. Ni nini unapigana na ayo? Unajikunja hapa uende kanisa? Kwa sababu umekwazwa na mtu wa kamera. Kanisa katika na kaho kwaasere. Unakata kuja church. Look at what I'm being taken through. And I'm very protective. I don't want her to realize what I'm going through. But all of a sudden, it explodes. And she realizes. My wife, is a hard call. Nimeshindwa kukula kwa harusi yangu. Umhai wange na saba. Niko wangu akana. Akajipanga na ukali na umwana mhano yo alaba yako inayo beka ukulia ta. Mama wange malanga malango kunyanyi. Na mangu na mitango kunyanyi. My family Kuna kitu inaitwa the, 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 the community whatever they contribute towards it. Tume register, tume lipa pesa yote inaitajika. But, but, wakakula pesa yetu. Tume paki peke yetu. But the objective of God was achieved. Mimi, vijana wale wanapaso kuja kunichuko kwa nyumba, they are not there. Kumbe, they have been incited in the church by another apostle who came to tell my apostle weekly if alikuwa anangoja tu aoe na afanye magani atoke na anahamia kwa kanisa la yule mhubiri anakuja kuungana what was not in me yani mtu wa Mungu unapigwa vita kwa makosa ujafanya kwa kitu ambacho hakiko mtu Mungu akaguza tu watu less than 1 GB utu utu Pastor Felix, mahali alitokea mimi sijui na group asubuhi decoration imefanywa. Well, whatever God has started, I'm telling
telling you the truth. It must surely terminate. She told Wibula. She told Wibula. Nini nuna jikunja. Nini nuna jikunja na. Look at the processes I've taken my pastor through. But look at what I am going through. My daughter Kate, like I said, in relation to what you preached here, there are pastors who are highly gifted. But because they do not realize the power behind cohesion, that's why they have less than enough. The ministries have lost the relevance. Tunatoka tunaenda honeymoon. To my assistant pastor, I shall bear room yet. Kitana chetu na anapigiwa simu. Apostle anasema, beba pesa zote. Hao watu wamepewa. Nyanganya huyo mwanamke kikapo ile alikuwa mke wangu alikuwa amebeba mado, mado. Pesa zimecha. Apostle anasema, kucha nazo. Mtu wa Mungu hata kama amekuwa mbaya si ndio sukumbuke kwa sa kwamba kuna mahali atakusaidia na wewe sukumbuke kwa sukumbuke kwa kuna mahali atakusaidia ukiona baadhi ya watoto wa wachungaji wanangangana na drug and substance abuse it is because we plant and we harvest and whatever you plant when it comes to time to harvest you harvest both the seed and the bread that you planted. I was saying this because the Spirit of the Lord was ministering to me of a brother who is losing the way. You cannot get healing in the house. You cannot get healing in the solitude. Healing, it is at the place of the gathering. Healing is at the place of worship. But even after we left honeymoon, I told my wife, God has blessed me with a wonderful computer system, printers, and all that things. Watch to lale hapa lewa. To kitoka hapa asupui. To taenda kwa nyumba yetu. To photocopy karatasi to wandika hapo. We are away. Halafu hapo chini to wandika namba yetu ya simu na tuhangi kwa mlango yetu ya ploti kisha ndani tukifungia na kafuli wakikuja wakishika kafuli wanajua hatuko alafu sisi tujipange na honeymoon yetu because our issue is not where we are born Jesus is born in a manger but you cannot change him from being Jesus it cannot change being Jesus. And we stayed there. When it came to the time of opening the gifts, tunapata box kubwa imengara kama dada yangu, dada inua mkono wakuwane. But thank you, God bless you. Imengara kama dada yangu, lakini ndani ya box, kuna mbegu za simsi. Mbeku, you can count not more than even 50. Mbeku, you know sim sim. But look at what the Lord has done. That life is unique. Come, let me speak to you, my brother. Come, let me speak to you. This life is unique. Pastor Felix, where are you? This life is unique. Go behind me, Pastor Felix. Lay your hands upon it. And the uniqueness of this life. How oh, just wait to listen to me. Let your wife come over. The uniqueness in this life. Listen to me. The uniqueness in this life is bigger than time. For before I formed you in your mother's womb, I knew you. You existed with me before time. And before you came out of your mother's womb, I sanctified you. And 
Hallelujah. But I had already sanctified you. You existed in eternity which is bigger than the calendar. Science tells you you were in the midst of other millions of while there was an intercourse between your father and your mother and you overcame all the rest therefore as at the time of conception I ordained you as the head and not the tail don't eat yourself don't eat yourself It yourself. The Lord is saying it was good that you could have the right definition of who he really is in the matters of character, patience, endurance, so that you may know how to wait. On God, and He says it was for the good of them that love the Lord their God. Don't reveal that lion. This is a kingdom against another kingdom, an authority. Another authority. I pray for the healing and the release right in the depth of your heart. And do not consider it as evil, but consider it as the hand of God getting involved in that particular moment. You have he killed a bear. No one has recognized it. Your parents would not praise you through it. You have killed a lion, but they are not seeing sense. Even a security alert in it, so that they may train you through the process and say, My son, the next time it comes, these are defense mechanisms. You have come and relieved Israel and King Saul himself, you know, from you know the effects that were brought about by Goliath, an enemy that took away the economic progress of the land of Israel. They could not build permanent structures because of Goliath. They lived in tents. They lived wandering because of Goliath. There was tension and anxiety all through within and in, within the environment because of Goliath. But even after you've done this, they leave you to go back to the mountain to go continue taking care of the sheep. Bible tells me the Lord looked at it in the place and he said I will set up Saul for my own goodness upon my servant David and so the Bible says God sent an evil spirit from heaven. I didn't know they were there. I didn't know they were there. So that the evil spirit can torment the soul. That that can become a stepping stone through which David can get into his next awakening. May your worship reposition you. Somebody anoint me. May you worship position. Somebody anoint me. Uluaya 
kasi mbendanga Mumatinyo mumato Kosi kali ya malai Umfetulilanga Mukutiti khana kosi Oko mushi malash Bendanga shinoli ya hindi Umfe tulira Ise Umfe tulira Ise Umfe tulira Ripanga shir Ripanga shir Even in peace, I am not worried because I serve a God who remembers me. Is it Sadaka or Pendua to Natoa, Kakwama Dapa, or Kazi Zamongo, or Katamangina to Natoa to make a bibai, or Katamangina to Natoa, or Jungaji Abawana to Ipia? He could you could make a Ekufagia Kanisa or Fagia Kanisa? He could you could make. Kuninua speaker, hiku chukumika Kuninua kiti, kupatikana Kwa ipanda kwa wakati Unaubaswa, inandikwa Pahali, inamungu And at the appointed time Indeed God shall remember For the Bible says He has written the names Of the righteous upon the palm Of his hand That whenever he opens it he remember how I wish somebody could have prayed and said, God, nimekuwa katika process kama na hii. Lakini naomba mema yoyote, echapokuwa kuna maali nilikosea. Lakini kama kuna chochote nilifanya, iwe ni tishu nilinunua nikweka kwa cho. Iwe ni kuosha kanisa ni, remember me. Mana kuna watu wanateswa, nalaana za kikuhani. Kwa sababu ya maala walikukona abutu. Majura ya kitambo Leo katika china la yesu Hapo ulipo Katika magoti yako Kwa imani yako na kueka huru Katika china la yesu Na weka watuto wako huru Kazi zako huru Financial life yako ikurejele Utukufu wa afya ukurejele Afya ya mawazo Afya ya rohoni Afya ya ndoa Kwa china la yesu for we serve a God who remembers who remembers lo abandi ve lo meranga amera como jogo si tabu si se che
from the mouth of the bitter man. Be ye shifted. Be shifted. Be ye shifted. Be ye shifted. Be ye shifted. In the name of Jesus. And again, in this moment of solitude, I eject you back to light and to the moment of glory. The time wasted in the solitude and the time the Kanakawans and the locusts have eaten. Restoration with a double portion. And upon your life now, I lay a portion of my spirit. As you worship God, may you see results portion of my spirit is landing over you. The spirit of God is landing over you. Receive the fire of the Holy Spirit over you now. Holy Spirit, yes, of course. Right from the belly, it is burning. Repositioning is taking place. Reorganization is happening to the depth right now. Yako in a pokea kusa visua uta kaso na kwenelea kupia kwa china la yesu. I save your generation and from today may your service to the Lord mean relevance in Jesus name. Father Lord upon this woman I lay the anointing of reverence mm. Anointing of reverence. Anointing of reverence. I ordain this marriage before you. In the name of Jesus. And I declare in Jesus' name. This time, these steps of this feet shall take the bearing of the way of the Lord. And the Lord relieve you from the weight of the heart. The weight of the time wasted. The weight the weight of the time wasted. I lay my spirit over you. Excellence will lead the way. And as you worship the Lord, let the heavens and the earth know there is a representative of God on this ground. Peace be with you. Shalom. God bless you. God bless you. Everybody lifting up your hands wherever you are. May God give you the healing you need. May God give you the healing. May God heal the damages caused in your life as a result of the experiences you went through. May God reorganize your life again. And every word of bitterness from the altar of bitter men of God. I repent on your behalf and pray again in Jesus name. May you be ushered into a moment of glory when you can prosper and do what God had called you through this house. For the glory and the honor of the name of the Lord. Amen and amen. Amen. Ah, ah. Mas ai animazito sana ni o neuro